This is really cool. No, this is really cool. Is it high enough? Um, could do it coming down a little bit. FlexiSpot reached out to us several months ago and offered to send us a standing desk for review. And I said, no, this isn't really a YouTube channel that reviews office furniture. But then I spoke to a few people who have been using one for a while who said it's as valuable an investment for your studio as a decent chair. And we love a decent chair. We have the studio staple, the Herman Miller Aeron in the studio, and it is the greatest non-gear investment you can make for your studio. So I thought, maybe we could review a standing desk? And then I forgot about it for a few weeks. Then I watched this excellent video from Caleb Pike of the DSLR Video Shooter YouTube channel. This is a, I really don't know what to call it, but it was a desk and now is a glorified tripod slash jib slash desk slash dolly cart slash slider slash video village slash gear shelf thing. Now, I have a hatred of things that hold other things up. There's always a massive design flaw or they're compromised or just don't work. I've never used a microphone stand, even one venturing into four figures and thought, wow, this is incredible. Every adjustable keyboard stand I've ever tried has been a complete faff to adjust and then just a general wobbly nightmare when it is. And I hate camera tripods, even expensive ones, just as much as Caleb does. Just moving the camera six inches up or down for these videos, we might have to do 15 or 20 times in one day. And it sounds like a pathetic niggly thing, but it's a complete pain in the arse and wastes a massive amount of time. So I was interested to try a standing desk in his configuration as a video station. And then I thought, there are probably lots of uses for this in the studio. Let's order one, and why don't we try it as a keyboard stand? That's a great idea. If we're gonna try it as a keyboard stand, then we wanna try it on a keyboard with some weight to it. <laughs> this is insane. No way. <laughs> well, it's made it a bit high to play, but servicing is going to be a breeze. FlexiSpot sent us their E8 standing desk frame, which is available in black or white. We also ordered this white desktop with it and an optional set of wheels to replace the adjustable feet it comes with as standard. FlexiSpot did give us the desk, but as usual, no money has changed hands and we're free to give our honest opinions. However, we do have an affiliate link in the description below, so please click on that if you're as inspired by this as we are. These videos are very expensive to make, not only in the time it takes, but also in the cost of resources. In this video, we've bought many additional items, for example, to show you just what can be done with something like this. So using that link is one way you can really help the channel out. We get a small commission on any sales and you also get a discount. First things first, this is built like a brick shipyard's toilet. The all metal construction of the base seriously impressed us when we assembled it. It took minutes to bolt together, it's solid as a rock, and even the spot welds are immaculate. It's also pretty heavy, so it's a two-man job to tip it upside down and screw on the tabletop. Once you're all plugged in and ready to go, the controller offers simple up and down arrow keys. You can set a preset sitting height and a preset standing height for one touch operation. And there are a further two programmable presets. The manual says for every two minutes of operation, the desk needs 18 minutes to cool down when under load. But we've been going up and down and up and down with this thing a lot while filming this video and had a lot of weight on it. And not once has it frozen, slowed down or shown any signs of being under strain. 
The fact that it lifts the top of the Hammond up, which weighs well over 100 kilos, is testament to the strength and quality of the dual motor mechanism. The frame itself is adjustable in width from 110 to 190 centimeters, and the height is adjustable from 60 to 125 centimeters. The desk also has some built-in safety features. There's a child lock to stop young fingers playing with it, and it also features anti-collision sensors to avoid crushing objects, pets, or small musicians that may wander into its travel. But why might you want a standing desk in the first place? Mark. There are proven health benefits. I've been using this in its basic configuration for a week or so, just as an office desk for email and admin. And to stand up for a large portion of the day does make a huge difference to not only calories burned, circulation and posture, but also offers, for me at least, massive productivity improvements. I've been feeling less tired, generally more energetic, and have been getting work done faster. So I thought, a lot of you guys and girls probably use a desk of this kind of shape and size in your own home studios. So a setup like this could work really well. Take one FlexiSpot E8 motorized standing desk, one pair of Adam T8V monitors, which we'll be reviewing on the channel very soon, the SSL2 interface, an iPad running GarageBand, and a basic controller keyboard, and you have a great little home studio setup that's flexible and can be expanded in the future by simply getting a larger desktop, or by going the full Monty like Mark has here. Whilst James's setup works really well, I wanted to go all out for a more Argosy console vibe, complete with rack spaces, an armrest, and plenty of desk real estate for the cat to sleep on, but on a budget. So I jumped in the van, headed down to my local Swedish flat packed furniture emporium, and picked up two two meter lag captain desktops, and of course, a disgusting coffee and a rubber hot dog in an ill fitting barn for the drive back. Once I'd cleaned the ketchup and mustard from my lap, I then set about making an Argosy inspired workstation to go on the FlexiSpot E8 frame. This involved keeping one of the desktops whole and cutting the other one in half lengthways and using one half to extend the desktop with a gap for cable management and the other half to form a front piece. I then went out and bought a sheet of MDF and some metal rack strip to make the rack sections, sealed the MDF with PVA before covering it with self-adhesive black vinyl, and then I ordered some black fake leather and made an armrest from a length of softwood and some side panels to finish it off and hide any joins from offcuts of the MDF. All in all, around £200 and a day's work, and everyone who's come into the studio has commented on how cool it looks, but then been really impressed when I've pressed the button and raised the workstation to a standing position. The E8 frame has lifted the entire weight of the desk, rack equipment, computers, hard drives and two sets of near-field monitors without even flinching and all at the extreme end of its working width. I'm really impressed with this. So having worked with a standing desk for the last few weeks, would you say there are any disadvantages or bad sides to it? There's only one real downside that I can find, and that's basically that when you... <laughs> but other than that, it's all good, really. The increase in productivity and stuff, you're looking at me like you just want to go over the bad side again. Did you not get that? Uh, I think I did, but I don't know if the audience did. Okay, so the only one... <laughs> downside I can find is that unless your speakers are on the desk when your desk moves the speakers don't go with you they stay where they are so if you've set up your listening position with your speakers on stands behind your desk like you should and you're sitting down da -da 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 -da, then when you stand up and the desk goes up the speakers stay where they are and you're not in the optimal listening position anymore now I found two workarounds for that Ooh. Ooh. One is do the critical listening sitting down and then stand up to do admin and editing and stuff where listening is not so critical. Or if you want to do half an hour on headphones, put your headphones on and then stand up and groove about a bit. And that's great. Uh, the second workaround, which is one I'm very keen on trying, is that I'm going to order another two of these bases and I'm going to put them under the ATCs. Damn, that'd be cool. So this is gonna shrink to about half the size because we don't need a desk this big. We basically built this for the video. This will shrink down to half the size. ATCs on E8 frames, this on an E8 frame. You push the button, the desk goes up, the speakers go up, the desk goes down, the speakers go down. I'm so impressed with what a difference sitting and standing and sitting and standing has made to workflow, 
how I feel, productivity, energy levels when I'm when I do work on music when I'm standing up if I'm, I'm performing actually you know really proper getting into it not just kind of sitting down and da, 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 and that actually really getting into it in the same with the Hammond you've seen me anyone that's seen me play play a Hammond live knows that I always stand up and play it and there's two reasons why I stand up and play it one is because it's on wheels and they always stay on it so it's the right height for standing up but second is because I can just put so much more energy into it than just sitting down and do, 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 do. it's no stand up so it's a big yes from us for the standing desk definitely a big yes from us tell us about what will be coming up next time mark next time mark will be a nice review of these lovely speakers behind us which are the adam t8v's so they're a budget near field monitor around about 400 pounds in the uk very similarly priced and similarly specced to the ever popular Yamaha HS8 so we're going to be comparing them to those and we're also going to be looking and having a little look inside see what's in them and see if there's ways that you can easily kind of improve their performance without having to spend a fortune and get a much better speaker for a real budget price so that'll be quite good sounds exciting I have to go because I have to go and order you something on the internet well I was thinking maybe I was going to go and order you something on the internet. He'll love that. Yeah, that's suitably awful. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe and... Ding the ding dong. Yes, do that thing. You'll see us next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.